What's up coral crew and beautiful fish lovers? Welcome to Puff Daddy Reef. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. So I've been thinking about what I'm gonna put in this tank. It's a massive tank. There's still room for tons and tons of fish. I just picked up some coral in there, but I really want a really cool, beautiful, gorgeous, special fish. And I think that fish is the Mandarin Gobi. Now when I went online to see what it takes to keep a Mandarin Gobi alive, the common theme was pods. They love pods, they need pods, it's what they love to eat. Not only do mandarin gobies like pods, but a lot of different types of fish like to forage on pods. This is great news because I see pods everywhere. In fact, I went up to the store and I picked up some pods for my reef tank. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put pods in my reef tank and see if these fish like them. I'm sure they'll absolutely love them. Who doesn't love pods? Now, as tasty as Tide Pods may look, they're actually not reef safe. So I had to come up with my own reef safe version of Tide Pods. Now, what I did is I first looked at what a Tide Pod actually looks like and tried to absorb its shape and characteristics and uh, tasty appealing curves. And once I kind of captured that in my mind's eye, I opened up a computer-aided design software program and I catted out little templates from which I can freeze fish food into the shape of a Tide Pod. So in order to make these tasty Tide Pod snacks that are reef safe, um, you first need this template and I'll have a link in the description below on how you can get a hold of this for yourself. But so here's the little Tide Pod template that I made. I made three sizes. So I made your dream reef tank size, the nano reef tank size, and of course the Pico reef tank size. So the important thing to notice about a Tide Pod, which makes it the excellent food with all these flavors mashed together, is that you have a three in one package. And so the little dimples that I have in here are part of my three-in-one package for reef food. So what do I have? Frozen mysis, everyone's favorite staple of the reef hobby. I have em emerald entree, and this is loved by all those herbivores that you have, such as tangs. And finally, marine cuisine. This is kind of the red-blooded, hearty meat for carnivores. So we're gonna put these together inside a uh, Tide Pod edible situation. So first, what we're gonna do is we need to melt our different uh, constituents. So I've got Emerald Entree. I'm probably gonna take a couple cubes of that. Let's just pop them out. Uh, and then I have some Mysis. Mysis is gonna be kind of the base of it. So I'm gonna pop out maybe three, maybe four four cubes of that, I can always use it later. Oh, and by the way, use separate bags for each one. You don't want the colors mixing uh, because then you don't really, it doesn't have the tri-flavored tri effect that a Tide Pod has. So I've got one bag here of the Mysis. I got the Emerald Entree. And the very last, of course, like I said, is the Marine Cuisine. So we're gonna pop out two cubes of marine cuisine. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna melt these so we can actually get them into the mold. So the marine cuisine is now out. So I have my three flavors and now we need to melt them. I recommend using uh, your wife's favorite glass, um, but make sure you do it when she's not home and make sure to do dishes before she gets back. So we'll put these in here and then Conveniently, I have water located right next to me because I am at a reef. And we'll fill this up with hot water. So we'll just leave this for a couple minutes um, so that it can melt. And then we'll basically squeeze out the contents like icing in order to fill up our Tide Pods. Freeze them, see what they look like. So now it looks like all of our frostings have melted and they're ready to put inside these reef safe Tide Pods. So we're gonna start with, I think was always the best thing to start with is Emerald Entree because uh, you want your fish to eat their veggies first. 
Uh, otherwise, they'll just go for the meaty stuff and they won't get their vitamins. One thing that's really interesting about this Emerald Entree is I'm pretty sure it has food coloring in it um, as it comes from the package. This is kind of kind of crazy. It almost looks blue. So uh, if you've done your standard frosting an ice cream cake, or uh, sorry, a cake or an ice cream cake, I don't know if you frost those, but you just kind of snip off the end here and then you can lift up your little Tide Pod thing and you just squeeze just a tiny bit out into the Emerald Entree slot. Not too much, just takes a little bit in that little guy. The little, the, uh, the Nano Tank size, you can put a little bit more in there. And then the big guy, it's gonna take a lot more. You gotta make sure that your whole um, is big enough because this Emerald Entree actually has um, kind of bigger chunks of meaty stuff for it. So we're gonna squeeze that out. Oh yeah, there's a lot of, lot of algae and stuff in there. And what I found that really helps get a nice even distribution because if the shape is part of what makes the Tide Pod so effectively deliver the nutritious flavors. So I kind of use this, um, this little paper clip to kind of s make sure everything gets in into all the edges of the Tide Pod. Okay, so that's good with that flavor. So now we're gonna set the Emerald Entree aside and now it's time for some marine cuisine. Um, you can also use brine shrimp. I've also used that in some of those. That just, it kind of balances out the emerald entree to have something for your, your more aggressive fish in there. Now, I didn't cut this tight enough, so it's just going to take a little drop in here. Okay, it looks like we've got that one. And now let's do the big guy. The big guy's going to take a lot more food. Like I said, this big guy, as he is now, if I put mysis all on the top, that would probably feed, oh wow, I don't know, maybe a 200 gallon tank. That is the dream, the dream tank Tide Pod. So now we've squeezed that in there and I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna spread out everything. So I'm gonna bring the camera in close so you can get a really quick shot before I put them in the freezer. And then the next step is after this first layer is frozen, then we'll add the mysis. So this is the nano size Tide Pod. Everything's sitting in there nice. Here's the large size Tide Pod. And here is the Pico Pod. So now everything is out of the freezer and now it's time to add the mysis. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add mysis on the top of these two. And then on this one, I'm just gonna add water and freeze it because I don't wanna put that much fish food in my tank. Uh, but this one will be great for my little low maintenance nano tank. They're gonna love the pods. They'll absolutely love them. And so just gonna squeeze some of these mysis guys on top. There's good. You can see their little eyes. That's what I love about mysis shrimp. And then, oh wow, that was kind of like a mysis squirt. This is a this is a ton of mysis. I might add just a little bit of water on top of this because this is this is getting near my limits of what I want to feed. And for this one, um, I'm just gonna put water in there. And it's okay to use, if you have RODI water or something, um, you can add that to the top. Salt water may take a little longer to freeze, um, but you can try that too. But we will, um, we will try this really quick and see uh, how fast it freezes. So before that freezes, we're gonna put that in the freezer and then I'll take them out and we'll see how they look. So now I've got my Tide Pod and we are going to try to get it out of its little case. So I have a cup of hot water here. I'm just gonna float it and hopefully that'll kind of loosen everything up and then we'll try to pop it out. Well, here is the large Tide Pod. It's looking tasty to me. So here's the medium sized Tide Pod and this is great for your 120 gallon down to maybe 40 gallon tank. Uh, it's a nice little treat in the evening with every nutritious thing that you need and those patented special Tide Pod swirls. So I got the Tide Pod right here and we'll feed these fish. Here fishy fishy, here fishy fishy, want a Tide Pod? Tide Pods. Mm. 
keep the Tide Pod. Thank you very much for watching my channel. Uh, please subscribe. Another reason to subscribe is I will be giving away these little templates so you can make your own fish food Tide Pods. Uh, what you need to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and put a comment. Also, I will be giving away a second set of plastic Tide Pod templates to the comment that gets the most likes. So have fun, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.